All right, trying Lannister Sea of Blood again today. Martell Banner of the Wolf. That is the, exactly the opposite of what I would like to see. Do not enjoy seeing that at all. And I'm starting with no economy, which is quite bad. So that's not a good sign, but let's see what happens. We just got to hope for the best here. I think I'll set up Tyrion with a bodyguard, maybe. Or maybe I'll just set up Tyrion and the Hound. I guess I could go 3-3-2. Three, three, yeah, it's probably better to set up three characters. Let's pray that I draw some locations. Still no locations, that's great. This is a game where, like, if he just plays Ward on the first turn, the game's probably over. Ugh, a fiefdom. It's better than nothing. Come on, exactly four gold. Do it. Just do it. Oh, it's not a ward. Okay. Maybe we're in business. Maybe it is a ward with that iron bank. I don't know why else he would do that, to be honest. That seems a little bit weird. If he's not going to spend it on that. That definitely doesn't seem like it would be worth it. I mean, you could just put him in the in the play for free with Ariane. You don't need the Iron Bank. We'll have his due for that. There's no way that was correct. He used the Iron Bank on Ariane to play Ramsey Snow. Like, why? Doesn't make sense. He doesn't have enough gold for Dornish Spy. Doesn't have any way to play Ariel Hota. Like, his turn is so... His, his uh, situation over there is so much less scary now compared to if he hadn't done that Iron Bank. Uh, oh yeah, we got this. So let's see what happens. Not declaring any challenges, okay. Well, I'm just going to go for a military. Why not? I still feel like there's going to be something here that stops me, but I'm not sure what it's going to be.
I mean, if he doesn't have some type of master plan here, then I don't understand why he didn't declare a military against me with Ramsey. That seems like another mistake on his part. Okay, then. Oh, it could be his Viper Eyes. That might happen. Always remember Martel can do that. Might be his Viper Eyes. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, that's nice. That is most excellent. So maybe he'll do Valar Morghulis now? That wouldn't surprise me. But I have the bodyguard, so not the end of the world. Spins the gold on a Dornish spy, that's fine. That means probably no Valar Morghulis. I'm okay with that, all things considered. Made him spin the Dornish Spy this turn, when he could have used that next turn to stop another Sea of Blood trigger. So that's pretty good for me, in all honesty. Let's see here. Either do Force March or Noble Cause. Horse March isn't super good, so I'll just do Noble Cause. Dil Harris, sure. I mean, that gets rid of, what, one character? I'm pretty happy to see him use that when I'm ready to marshal Tywin. He made me first player again. That might be correct, depending on what he has in hand, but definitely could be a mistake on his part. Let's not marshal this merchant, I don't think. Alright, so if I kneel this guy, then I can play Tywin for 3 gold. He gets a bodyguard, and then we can... No, I don't think I want to marshal this guy. I think he, I'd rather have him in the hand to try and stop Intrigue claim, even if that's all he does. To just be Intrigue fodder. Let's see if it's going to be Ward this time. It can always be Ward, man. It can always happen. Okay, so now he can use R.E.M. with Ariel Hota, and that will stop my agenda no matter what, but there's nothing I can do about that, so whatever. I can do this first to make Tywin bigger and to pressure his hand. Now he has to waste a bunch of strength to defend or risk losing whatever's in his hand that he wants to use with R.E.M. Another secret schemes. Okay, well that's good. I feel like it's guaranteed that something's going to stop my agenda, but I'm just going to go for it. I feel like I have to make him use it, whatever it is that he has. And I don't need to keep characters to defend so much, because I can get gold for Podrick Payne and the Hound on my turn if he does an Intrigue, which he probably will want to do.
Are you going to bounce the hound with that? Oh. Well, that was underwhelming. I was about to say, does it only have one... Yeah, she's just one sand snake. So... That worked out. Oh, jeez, that might have been a misplay. Yeah, I was supposed to discard for the hound there, and now I'm going to lose somebody to march to the wall. That's too bad. Let's see, do I want put to the sword? Probably. No, because he can do a military no matter what I do. Let's just do this. I think this is still the right choice. If he doesn't have any economy, he won't be able to do anything. Oh, yeah, so... This will should work out because he should declare a military challenge. And then Padraig Payne will come in to save me from March to the Wall. He probably will not do an Intrigue, would be my guess. But this is good enough. Got him. No march for you, buddy. Big fat no thank you to that. Yeah, he might as well do Intrigue now, because I cannot get four gold to ambush the Hound. Hopefully this gets a Merchant. Yes, he served his purpose. Now I feel pretty good. I have the March Protection. I had two bodyguards. He wasted his Valar Doharis. I should be in a pretty good spot. I guess we can do Force March now. We have Podrick, who is pretty good to use with it. Get to make him first player, even though he played Retaliation. It's funny. I probably should have made myself first player, since he flipped Retaliation. That was probably a mistake on my part. But he might not be able to win any challenges due to Force March kneeling his guys. And he only has like four gold. He, he can't even afford REN. Unless he has like another fiefdom that he top decks or something. Not a fiefdom, a grove. So if I do win this game, I think it's at least as much because of my opponent's bad fortune as it is my good fortune. My draws weren't great, but his have been terrible and he also has made some misplays but his draw luck is really bad if he doesn't he doesn't have any wards doesn't have any heron halls doesn't have any of his good stuff basically no aerial hota nothing that he needs to try and help him out no venomous blade lots of stuff he could have drawn that could have screwed me and i'm just not seeing any of it so i got pretty lucky One nice thing about this agenda is it does show how you can have a better chance against these Cancer Attrition decks as a more aggressive and proactive deck because the agenda gives you, there's a Venomous Blade, gives you the ability to use Put to the Torch to get rid of their locations. And like I had a game, like I said uh, for my Martel Sea of Blood, I had a game where the Martel uh, reset based opponent tried to sit there and not marshal anything and basically just wait and play recess for five plots and he kept getting hit with puts of the torch every single turn so that doesn't really work if all of your locations just constantly get blown up for sitting there like that let's get some more march protection i guess we should marshal the hound yeah why not Unfortunately, I only have the two torches, and I don't have Isle of Ravens, so I cannot use Put to the Torch again, which is too bad. I would really like to get rid of the Water Gardens. But Put to the Sword is still pretty good, deleting his uh, characters, since my board is not even remotely vulnerable to resets. He's going to be pretty sad if his board goes away, because he already uses Doharis.
I'll target Ramsey with Puts of the Sword here because he's unique. Choose him over the Dornish Spy. does not choose Doria, so he's leaving the Venomous Blade in play. That seems a little bit questionable. I mean, he may have simply committed to doing, like, Valar Magulis next turn or something anyways, but he's leaving open the possibility that I could play Confiscation on that Venomous Blade if he leaves it in play for plot phase. Could also be doing March to the Wall, in which case it literally doesn't matter, and that would explain why he did that. March to the Wall also will not surprise me. Even though it's obviously not going to bother me very much, he just doesn't really have any good options at this point, so it's like he might as well play that. Could do Counting Coppers. Oh, yeah, Fallen, so basically Marched. But a lot of the newer versions of these Martell Banner of the Wolf decks, I've noticed they actually will not use Counting Coppers for some reason. I guess they're counting on Dorn to be their card draw. That can definitely bite you in the butt sometimes. You don't have Counting Coppers. I'm just going to keep getting mileage out of the Hound here. There's no need for me to commit any more to the board when I'm this far ahead. Let's see. I can also... Yeah, I just don't need to marshal any of these. I can bring in the Stone Crows if I need more muscle. I might should have marshaled Slint for the Intimidate, but I think it's fine. I think it's equally as uh, reasonable to just save gold to keep using the Hound over and over. Damn, there's the Ward. He did that out of turn. Tried to marshal the ward and then kneel the water gardens. So he had the four gold subtracted. He can add back three or something. The joke might be on him, of course, if he uh, declares a military challenge there. I'm going to play when I woke, and that'll be dank. Okay. Is Tat wrong? In all caps. I don't know what this means. Do something, buddy. More gold, I think. Why is he typing in all caps? fine. Got the Venomous Blade, nice. Well, since he stole the Hound and we are stuck sitting on 8 gold, that was a reason to marshal another character, by the way. I should have been thinking about the possibility that he top-decked Ward. We might as well do this now. Spend it on some Stone Crows. This way he cannot declare a Defender, or REM will die. Aw, oh, 
Oh, he's not paying attention. That's too bad. Get out. Yeah, who's winning the attrition game now, Martel Wolf? That shit out of here. Now I guess I'll just do trade browse and try to win. Should be able to win with Renown on Tywin and Jamie. And the opponent being like super duper dead over there. Political disaster, what the heck? Okay. I legitimately think that hurts him more than me. I guess the Iron Throne is not that useful for him at this point. Finally made himself first player, that's also amusing. Although I don't think it, it'll matter, I think he's like 5,000% dead. I was able to get ahead uh, fast enough and by so much on those first couple of turns that when he did get the ward, I had uh, stabilized well enough that it didn't matter. The ward can matter a lot more in earlier turns before my side of the board gets set up like it is, because then it can lead into like a march to the wall on an important character of mine or something like that, and then he could just snowball. But it didn't happen that way, not this time around. I think his biggest misplay, and I don't know if this would have been enough to save him, but definitely it was incorrect for him to do this, was when he played Valar Doharis on turn two and got rid of like one three cost character on my side. That was a waste of Valar Doharis. I don't think he needed to play that there. I don't have the Hound anymore, so let's just play, yeah. Obviously, it's over. Well, always good to see a vanquished Martell Wolf player. Always good to see that. Doubly good to see it as Lannister. We have some scumbag points on our side because we're using this Agenda Sea of Blood. But I have no, no mercy, no uh, sympathy given what he was playing. So that was a worthwhile game. Good way for the Lannister deck to go out. Tomorrow will be the last Martel Sea of Blood, and then it'll be some more new decks. So, yeah.